to my channel. My name is Shaven, and for this video, I am going to be showing to you guys my March book haul. So I am so excited about this video because these are the books that I purchased for the month of March, and I actually bought. 10 books and 2 of them I actually um, shown it on my previous video with my reading vlog. I will link it on the iCards. So aside with the books that I purchased for the month of March, I'm also going to share to you guys my mini haul with my sticky tabs that I bought from Shopee. You know me, I really do love annotations so I'm going to share to you guys the sticky tabs later. So before that, I am going to share 2 books that I've already shown on my previous reading vlog which is this one, Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare and I actually read this book and I really fell in love with this book so much and speaking of annotations I really did annotate this book so much this book really breaks my heart you know my emotions I really got destroyed with this book and I'm going to share more about my thoughts with this one when I have my wrap-up video for the month of March but basically Chain of Iron is the sequel to Chain of Gold this is the new trilogy from Cassandra Clare so this is called the last hour trilogy so I am really excited with the last book of this one because this book really destroyed me you know my emotion with this book so again this is my first purchase for the month of March the next book that I have here is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Ma so this one is the fourth book in the Akator series so this we follow our main character Nesta which is the sister of the main character from the original Akator series which is Feyre and I have a reading vlog for A Court of Thorns and Roses so you can guys check it out so this is my second purchase for the month of March so Speaking of A Court of Thrones and Roses, I also purchased this book, A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Ma. So this is the novella of the A Court of Thrones and Roses series. So I've already completed the collection, the books, I've already owned the physical copy of the whole series. So I don't have any reason to not binge this series. So I am really excited about this. I purchased this on Shopee. This is a good condition hardcover and I don't know how much is this one but I will link it maybe here. So A Court of Frost and Starlight is the third book that I purchased for the month of March. So the next book that I purchased for the month of March is again from Shopee and it is The Four Winds by Christine Hanna and it's really funny because I don't know anything about this book aside of it is a historical fiction set in Texas and I really do love Christine Hanna's writing like Christine Hanna's The Nightingale really breaks my heart. So speaking of The Nightingale by Christine Hanna, that book was my favorite book that I've read for the year 2020. The top one favorite book of 2020 was The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. Like, that book really breaks my heart. My emotions, my tears for that novel was just so good and it is a historical fiction. Wow. Um, you know, once you've read that book, The Nightingale, I promise you, if you will not cry on that novel, I just don't know. I shred tears because of The Nightingale and again, that is my top one favorite book for the year 2020. So The Four Winds is the fourth book that I purchased for the month of March. So let's proceed with my next purchase which is also from Fully Book and it is Malice by John Gwen and I really don't know if that is the right pronunciation of her name, his name, but anyway, I really do um, love this cover. At the same time, I really heard a lot of good things about this series and it is a high fantasy novel and I really do love fantasy so much like urban fantasy, YA fantasy and I really wanted to upgrade with you know my knowledge when it comes to fantasy so I'm really excited about this book all I know about this book is actually it is um, a multiple perspective novel maybe I'm gonna do a reading vlog for this because this is going to be if ever my first high fantasy or adult high fantasy novel so Malice by John Gwen Gwen John Gwen John Gwen I'm really sorry <laughs> So now it is the most interesting part because it is time for opening some package of this um, parcel. So this is from Shopee. So fragile, parang puso ko, fragile. But anyway, so this is from Shopee and it's really funny because this is also from Fully Book. So without further ado, let's open this parcel. Another tape. <laughs> so let's open it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 
So, are you ready? So, the book that I purchased from Fully Book Shopee is... Ta-da! Monstrous Volume 1 by Marjorie Liu. So, this is a graphic novel. And I did not expect that this is a huge... <laughs> so, I did not expect that this is a big um, paperback. Is that what it calls when it comes to graphic novel? But I don't know. It is a huge, like, paperback edition. So, I did not expect... I really expect, like, a small version of Monstrous. So, yeah, so let's try to remove the uh, plastic and look what's inside. Let's open it. One more time. Again. <laughs> so, Monstrous by Marjorie Lou. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of her last name. I really am butchering some names here. But Monstrous is... I actually don't know anything about this book, but I saw Mel from Mel Reads doing a reading vlog with this one. So, I saw a glimpse of the um, images of this one with the graphic novel and I really do love it because you know, somehow it is like really dark, like you know, look at this one. Um, I really do love this graphic novel so much. It's really dark. I really feel like I will be entertained with this novel. So this is the volume one. So this, I bought it amounting 550 pesos. So you are wondering why I did not purchase this book on a bookstore or why did I purchase online with Shopee? Because there is no available copy. Wow! So there is no available copy with the different branches. So um, the availability of this book is only with Shopee online. So I really do love the pictures again with this one. And this is actually my second um, graphic novel that I purchased because it's really expensive. Graphic novels is really expensive for me. So this is my second purchase of graphic novel. So yeah, um, I think this is actually much cheaper, like 550 pesos. But if you will see a lot of graphic novels, you know, around bookstores you know it really ranges really um, high so this book is really more cheaper I believe on myself because it's 550 but you know with other um, graphic novels it's really pricey so I am really happy that I have a copy of this one I hope there is also another restock with full books so you can guys also order this because I really do again love the pictures of this one like look at that it's so beautiful so yeah, so aside of that, I saw the receipt and this one which is a free bookmark from Fully Book. So if you purchase on Shopee with Fully Book, you have a free bookmark which is so good, like you know, uh, freebie. So aside of that, aside with the book that I purchased with Fully Book, I also ordered a bag, a tote bag, which is this one. So let's open it. So this is 199 pesos. So look at this one. So there is a quotation with this tote bag and it is from Dr. Seuss, so fully booked. So there is also zipper here. So let's try if it's not broken. Okay, it's hard. <laughs> okay, so I am scared that this might be broken. Okay, okay, okay. Fully booked, what happened? Why is the zipper not working? Shots, what happened? <laughs> Ayaw, mama. Ayaw. Hmm, puli book one ninety nine to. Oh, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On second thought, I really thought that it's broken. <laughs> so this is what's inside. So it's just plain black. Okay. So let's try to um, try it again. If it's not... Oh, yes. Whew. Okay. So it's actually a bit... Um, I don't know if it's malfunctioning or not. I don't know if it's broken. Look at it. So you just need to like do this. So, <laughs> so that it can be open. So just a quick update with the tote bag, it is already fixed by my mom, so it is not totally broken. Like fully both, mano mano tayo. <laughs> so yeah, so tote bag, amounting 199 pesos. 
My next purchase is actually a set and it is a book that is translated in Filipino. So it is an international book that is translated in Filipino. So this is the book. So there is three books here and again, fragile just like my heart. So let's open it. <laughs> Selection series by Kiara Cas. So this is translated by Susi R. Baclagon Borrero. So this is a Filipino edition. So I purchased this book 110 each. So we have 330 pesos for three books plus shipping fee. So we have the selection and then the second one is the elite and then we have the one by Kiara Cas. So I am really am late with this series and somehow this is also one of my backlist titles so let's see the condition so it is actually brand new it says but somehow you know there is just like a yellow pages i don't know if you can see it but if you will compare the three books there is a bit of like yellow when it comes to the last book but anyway you know it's really cheap like 110 pesos each so it is 30 pesos for um this three plus shipping fee so you know it's still a steal for me because somehow this election i believe cost i think 440 pesos if i'm not mistaken like 400 to 500 pesos with the english but with filipino translated this one 110 times three 330 plus shipping fee so not bad so this is my second to the last book haul so the last book that i purchased for the month of march is this one so this is from shopee so i am going to open it now so I opened it and it is this book which is Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy by Cassandra Clare and various authors. So I am really excited about this book mainly because this is a novella bind up with the Shadow Hunter world. So this is a second hand from Shopee. So there is a uh, mark here and thank you to the Shopee seller because this is actually also with plastic cover and it is really in good condition even though it is a second hand. So I am really happy that I have this book because you know I do love Chain of Iron so much and I am in the mood of Shadow Hunter World so I purchased this book together with again with Chain of Iron so this is the novella again and this is my last book on my book haul so it's really funny because I'm about to do an outro and I actually forgot that I still have this sticky tab so without further ado let's open it So we have here some sticky tabs so if you are new to my channel I do love sticky tabs and with this one there is a new color which is color red and I don't know what type of red is this one so this is my first purchase from the seller from Shopee so I'm going to link it on the description down below so if you wanted to have this kind of sticky tabs because this is my first time having red so we have this one red and then we also have again so let's go with this one so this one we have the violet dark blue i guess and blue green yellow orange and pink so yeah um, i just bought um i did not bought many because i really don't know if i am really satisfied with the sticky tabs because this is new to me um but then again i really am satisfied as of now because i really do love the color of this let's open it so that's good. I really do love the color of this one. So the reason why I purchased the sticky tabs because with the color red. Like I really wanted to annotate red for fighting scenes, for um, plot twist, like gore or something like that. Or like shocking moments. Like I really wanted to annotate color red. So that is the reason why I purchased this one. So again, if you wanted to have this, I will link it on the description box down below. So yeah. So these are the books that I purchased for the month of March. So once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about my book, please subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye!